guys welcome Hi back guys. to the channel today we are going to be doing a foundation wear test video and i'm going to be using the anastasia we're testing her out today and usually i do like a two-day wear of this but being that it's december i'm trying to get this content in for you guys we're just going to do a full-on first impression and of course a wear test all in one so if you guys want to see my pros and cons about this and the longevity of her of course keep on watching hi guys welcome back to the channel if you are new hello my name is nisha and if you're not new and you've been here what is it do, baby boo welcome back today we are doing a foundation wear test um i don't know if y'all noticed but um, i should be slowly uploading a lot of videos now um i don't want to promise every day because i don't want to say it out loud but yeah <laughs> <laughs> make sure your post notification bell is clicked but being that i'm going to be uploading quite often for december um not just with just makeup tutorial i said i felt like this was the best time for me to get my foundation wear test in because i have so many foundations that i have yet to try y'all see my big old haul i will link that down at the bottom this is what started this whole thing because i realized that for one like the little foundation event 10 times the point 10 times the point thing yeah and then i also realized that i had a lot of foundation in my collection that i've yet to try so here we are so we're gonna be doing a lot of wear tests for this month because i'm praying my skin is nice to me skin be nice it's gonna be a rough month but hang in there sis but we're trying out foundations okay so today i'm going to be trying out the anastasia beverly hills this is the luminous foundation of course y'all know she is not new whatsoever she been here for a while but she's new to me because i honestly bought this i want to say two years ago and i had the wrong shade so i didn't really you know have a feel or a like for it because it was so red and then finally i was like being that you know how to you know get your correct shade let's see if you can return that and get your correct shade and i did and it's been almost a year now since i've had this and i have yet to try it again oh my gosh okay so we're gonna give this a go so i got the shade 510w the only thing i would have to say so far about the anastasia foundation is that shade ranges is not really that good and the description of the shade ranges it's not that good because i was looking for something that said neutral or neutral golden those are usually like the shades that i you know look for deep neutral neutral golden something in that family but this is supposed to be warm i'm like i'm not a warm type of girl but the way they give out the description of the foundation yeah and usually when I do like foundation wear tests or even primer wear tests, I like to do a two day wear, but being that it's December, we're doing one day wear. So we're gonna do a first impression and then we're also gonna do a wear test. And then I guess if I like it, I can come back throughout the month or next month and give you guys like an idea of like, okay, this is like, she's my go-to girl, you know? So I at least like to give a product a good three times before I fully decide if she's a good one or not. And usually if I say good right off the back, then okay, she's gonna be good off the back. All right, so this foundation is going to retail you for $38, which is not bad for the price that foundations are going for, especially for high-end brand. So $38 for this foundation, and of course, she's gonna come in 44 different options. And I believe I'm like the fifth shade, yes. No, I was wrong. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight more shades after this one see Ota was trying to play me i think that's why i was confused because Ota only shows the fair skin collection and then when it comes to the deeper girls it's probably about to get like three or four so i thought in my opinion that's all they had but now going off of the website okay <laughs> okay so the one i got the shade is described as a deep skin with a warm undertone i'm just super curious because I shade match myself inside the store and I want to know if Ota would have, you know, picked out my shade, what shade would they recommend? Because they have been like dead on correct with my shade. And I don't know why I didn't think of this when I bought this. The shade they recommend is the one I actually got. Okay, look. I was like, I just was curious. This is the shade reference that it said for me. Okay, so I did good. Okay. Okay. 
and I'm super excited. Okay, <laughs> so I'm like, I was nervous because we're going so I'm going to work today, so we're gonna wear her out. So let's get started. I'm gonna pair her with the Elf Power Grip. I know you're probably thinking you finna put an illuminating primer with illuminated foundation, and I'm only combo. Yes, because I love this. Um, I love this primer, and I I've, I've noticed with her she doesn't um shift or shake any other foundation like whatever you put on top of her like the, whatever formula that foundation is that's what you're gonna get like she don't do nothing different to it of course probably get a little bit of a shine once applying but she's gonna lock on to whatever you put on and she's not going to redo the formula so i feel like if i were to put on a matte primer then it kind of would change the formula of the foundation so that's my method and I'm sticking with it <laughs> so also if you guys are curious about my eye combo I do have this tutorial already up so I will be sure to link that down at the bottom if you guys want to check that out and I have nothing else on my skin I just did my skincare routine this morning and that was about it I didn't put no moisturizer on because I wanted to see how this you know this foundation holds up from what I remember, I don't, honestly, I don't remember because I think I tried it probably when I had like the wrong shade. I tried it like a good three times and I love the coverage of it. I do remember that. I did love the coverage of it, but I didn't test out the longevity because I didn't like what I was looking like. Like it kind of like oxidized a little. That I do remember. I don't know if it was just that shade or if it's just the foundation in general. When it comes to this, it did oxidize. All right, and it comes with a pump. I love pump foundation. I actually like the style of this bottle, how it says foundation right in big writing. <laughs> I like that. I wish it would have said Anastasia in big writing like this. I think that would have been really, really cute. Yes. Um, pump it, pump it, pump in. All right, this does look like my shade. Let's see how thick or loose this is. It's kind of sort of thick, but not really that thick, but I'm glad this looks Okay, I'm excited about the shade I can tolerate, you know Different formulas of foundation Long as my shade is the shade. I don't mind testing her out on work days, you know Oh, that's look real good you can't tell if it's my skin or not. The only thing, sadly, I'll have to say by me pairing it with this primer, I don't know if this is the glowiness of the foundation or if it's the primer. But I know she is supposed to have a radiant. That's why it's called luminous. So it's going to give you a glow. So it's not a matte style of foundation. I didn't read the description of it yet because I kind of want to get my own feel of it first before reading the description then my brain is going to be like oh yeah that's what i feel so i want to see what i feel first and then compare what the notes say but it's definitely looking beautiful i love the glow of it and it is a glow because i'm seeing it on the back of my hand too so this does have a glow to it yeah okay so this is going to be really beautiful for my dry girls Being that I am oily combo, I do tend to like a little bit of like radiant and glow towards like the winter and fall time because I feel like I can kind of get away with it. My skin is not so extra, you know, oily during, during those seasons because summertime it's like, forget it, it's matte everything. Like I would not dare be trying to attempt to put no type of glow, you know, no, unless it's a highlighter. But this looks really good. I think the shade range of it looks phenomenal. Well, let me put a little bit on my neck. I've been, you know, I'm wearing a turtleneck. Never mind. Because sometimes it throws me off a little bit because my neck is a little bit deeper than the rest of my body. But I think it's been clearing up a little bit better. I've been putting some freaking cream on it, of course, drinking more water and trying to cut back on my sugar intake. Trying. Okay. Um. Let me go ahead and finish the rest of the face and while I do that, I guess I can read a little bit about the foundation and see if it says what it's supposed to do. With the eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go in with Beauty Bakery for 
for underneath the eyes and of course the contour as well. So this Luminous Foundation is of course by Anastasia, I'm reading what it says. We'll have them asking about your skincare routine and not your makeup. Okay, I can see that because I said it, I said it, I said it looks like your skin, especially when you find the correct shade. So okay, and it's very glowy and I'm paired with this primer. I'm impressed. Okay, I can see that. It says this breathable weightless moisturizing formula helps to instantly mask the imperfection of uneven skin texture. And it said it's uh, skin texture and discoloration while letting your natural radiance come through. Come through, boo. I am here for the description of this foundation because definitely am agreeing with your skin. This feels like my skin. It looks like my skin. And the radiant, oh my gosh. Girl, yes. <laughs> I am here for it. You know what, let me put some down my chin too. I've been liking this back. Just not on my forehead, not on my forehead. So I'm gonna go into the details. So this is a water resistant long wear type of form of medium coverage foundation. That's good to know. Glowy and water resistance. That's a different combo, okay. It's like, how the heck do you do that? But okay. <laughs> um, it says this gives the complexion a fresh radiant look with a lightweight second skin filling. Yes, I definitely do not feel this foundation on me. It feels amazing, definitely lightweight, like I stated. And y'all see, y'all see it, right? And it is merging so good with my products. I love it. Cause I can tell right away if a foundation is like semi-decent because there's some foundations I've tried so far that I'm like, uh, -uh you gotta go back to the market. You gotta go back to the market because you are not even agreeing with my products. So this is looking really good. What else it says? Um, it says no flashback formula creates a soft focus effect and does not oxidize. Oh, okay. Maybe it don't oxidize, but it's not oxidizing on me right now. So maybe that shade I had picked out first, maybe I felt like it was oxidizing. It's because it was not my undertones and stuff like that. And that's one thing you have to kind of like find and understand because sometimes a foundation might be your shade, but it might not be your undertones. So you have to understand your shade, of course, and your undertones. And I think that's why a lot of foundation does kind of like shift whatever, because you'll buy something you're like, well, it looked like my shade, but now it's like oxidizing on me. And I think it's because your undertones are not the same undertones that foundation is that you got. So that's one thing about foundation. It's like, it's, it's, it's hard. I'm not gonna lie, it's hard finding that shade and everything because you gotta get everything correct. The shade in, and sometimes the undertones will be right, but your shade won't, you know? Oh, this looks so good. This is merging so good with my primer and everything. I'll state that this is suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin. That's one thing I would like to see Anastasia come back. Like, I feel like they've been so focused on like their palettes, like they're not bringing anything else out. Besides the highlighter, because I know y'all like, well, they came out with a highlighter for the holiday. That's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying like, I haven't seen like any skin products come out for them. Like I don't see any pink powder, you know, pink powder is like a new hype. I haven't heard anything about them bringing out a pink powder, no liquid blushes, like a different formula of foundation, maybe come out with a matte one, come out with a primer. Like I feel like their focus is just palettes and lip products. And I guess that's what it is, you know. I know the saying, if it ain't broke, why fix it, you know? So I guess that's what's working for them. I'm just saying, like, I would like to see a little bit more of like things that are trending. Like blushes was definitely this year. This year was definitely like blushes. Like everybody was coming out with a blush and I felt like Anastasia missed their opportunity. I do look a little orangey right here though. I will say that. I know y'all see that, right? That's the foundation. That was weird. I was like, wait, why am I looking orange? It was only in those two spots. Nope, I'm starting to see right here. Is it oxidizing on me? I 
I don't know. Okay. I might be tripping. So for underneath the eyes, I am going to go in with my Beauty Bakery Powder. This is the Plantain shade. I didn't even put liquid blush on today, but that's okay. I'll just make sure I just, whatever. Um, for the rest of my face, um, I'm not sure if this is gonna shift on me or not. So I'm gonna play it safe for the powder. I'm gonna go in with my Derma Blend Powder. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys have tried this foundation out. Cause I know, like I said, she's not a new one. She's been around the block for some, some years now. <laughs> the last time I tried like a glowy foundation, that was the Juvia Radiant one. And she looked beautiful and everything once she was on, but I will say within like, maybe like the second hour, I was looking very radiant. And then within like the third hour, it was looking like, okay, someone sprayed some water on my face. And then by that fourth hour, I was looking like baby oil was put on my face. So that was definitely targeted for dry, dry, dry girls. Dry, 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 dry girls. Oily combo, oily girls, that was not for us. Like it was just not. And that was the foundation that I did return. So I felt like I've been kind of like skeptical on trying like radiant glowy foundation but change my mind and i know you're probably thinking well aren't you matting it all out i am i'm just setting it this is not going to be the set of it all day but yeah you get the jet and i think you did really good with the rest of my face products my concealers my powders like she did really good as you can see so I'm very happy. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face for the sake of this makeup tutorial. And then I'm gonna come back and give you guys a timestamp so that way we can test out the longevity of her. I don't know what it is, but I feel very confident in this foundation today. So I'm excited to see the longevity of it. So let me give you guys a quick timestamp. It is 6.43 in the morning. Yes, I gotta be at work at seven. Yeah, I'm, I'm running on time. <laughs> uh, really quick, I do want to let you guys know what I have on for my setting spray because I don't know if that makes it different or not, but I do have on the Charlotte Tilbury, um, the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Why is my hair sticking up right here? I don't know. But anywho, I will come back later on today and give you guys a little sneak peek or not really a sneak peek, but the wear of this foundation. So see you guys in a few. All right, so clearly y'all can see I'm back. I'm shiny, <laughs> definitely shiny, but not shiny to the point to where I don't like what I see. You get what I'm saying? Like the application, the face, the longevity, it's still there, it's still giving. I think I'm just really shiny in my T-zone area, of course, y'all already know that about me, but I do have a highlighter on. And I just feel like when I do get a little bit more woolier and I have a highlighter on, it like it intensifies it just a tad bit. But then again, honey, how can you how can you deny this glow? Okay, because I thought I was about to critique the heck out of this foundation because let me say this. Number one, I don't think I don't know if it was the primer or my powders. But I did notice when I did put the powder on, I just couldn't figure out if it was the primer or the powder that I was using. But it did leave like patchy areas. So I don't know if you guys can see it. No, y'all can't see it. But really up close and personal, y'all can see my mustache. It's it's peeping through. And I, cut, I tried to think, I'm like, did I put foundation here? I couldn't remember. Like I could not remember at all. Um, second off, my smile lines were intense. I did have to reapply some um, powder because it was giving me the monkey mouth. Y'all know what the monkey mouth is. You know how monkeys have like that deep line right there around their mouth. 
it was giving me that like that's how deep my smile lines can get especially if it's not a good foundation that's agreeing with my smile lines and today was one of those days and i was like baby no we're not doing that so i kept having to patch up right here only here because i wanted to still see how the longevity of the rest of the face is going to hold up chin looks good cheeks look good nose look good forehead look good like i am, am very okay <laughs> i was a perfect happily no I, I guess i am satisfied with this like only thing I will say, this is why I wanted to try it out again. Of course, I'm not going to do it today, but I'll come back and give you guys like an update. I will say with this pri um, this foundation, I will say definitely going off of my skin because it could be different for other people, but going off of my skin, I do feel like I need more of a smoother airbrush poreless type of um, primer before going in with this foundation because yeah i can see the texture my pores everything right here and my cheeks and of course my chin area but other than that the face is giving i think it's giving y'all let me know is it giving is it giving it's giving i don't even know why i'm gonna sit here and blot it right now because i'm about to go to the gym so i'm about to take this off then again i might just leave it i don't know we're gonna see. Look at that girl. Matt, what? Matt, who? Matt, what? Matt, who? Yeah, I definitely gotta get this another go. Also, I think this is my second time saying it. I don't think I like this spray. I think it does something weird with my foundation. So I'm definitely gonna give you guys an update. Check that description box because I should have worn it again and I'll give you guys an update. But um, yeah, I do wanna try this foundation out with a different um, primer and with a different setting spray because I think I said this before and I used her recently on another foundation, I just can't remember. And I think I felt the same way. I don't, I don't see what the hype is. I don't. But anywho, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this foundation review. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys have tried this. Let me know y'all pros and cons so that way I can figure out if she needs to stay or does she need to go back to the market. <laughs> but anywho, you guys have a beautiful day. Stay blessed, stay amazing. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye. Look like I ain't got no neck. <laughs> it's a neck there, y'all. It's just like ain't got no neck. She ain't got no neck. She ain't got no neck. She ain't got no neck. Face is giving. Face is giving. Let's go to the gym and look real cute today because the face is giving. Look at that. The face is giving. Smile lines is very intense, but the face is giving.